as I mentioned, I'm now moving on to part two of my uh, binaural recording project, and that involves recording a binaural impulse response of an acoustic space. And to do this, I'm at this incredible store in Taipei called Digilog, and if you're into sound technology, music technology, especially modular synthesis, or you know, learning how to do things in this kind of area, this is an awesome place. Come on in, check it out. Digilog not only has probably one of the most impressive array of really cool synths, but a really cool bunch of guys working here. Frank, come and say hello. Hi. And this is Frank, Hi. the founder of Digilog. Yeah. So when I came here, I was really impressed by the store itself and to learn about the workshops you guys have here. Uh, you're having a workshop to teach people how to make a ribbon microphone. Yeah. yeah. Stuff like that. I mean, that's amazing in Taipei. Like, it's uh, so um, inspiring to find the store and find guys like you and other people that work for you. Yeah. But also, as soon as I told Frank about my desire to record acoustic space, he opens the door to his basement. Now, check this out. And already, you can hear the resonance, the reverberance of this room. And so for this test, which is really to confirm whether binaurally recorded reverb can be effective to binaurally recorded music, this room is a really good opportunity to test my suspicion. So what we have here is a speaker, and this binaural microphone that you're already familiar with. I play what's called uh, a sweep file that plays every frequency that we can possibly hear into this room and it records it. And that way, basically, we capture a fingerprint of this room's acoustic behavior. That fingerprint can then be applied to any music. So I can take any recording and make it sound exactly like the performer was there where the speaker is and you are here microphone is. What we're doing today that, that I don't know has ever been done before is we're recording this in a binaural format. So we're going to capture the fingerprint, which is called an impulse response, with a binaural microphone and then apply it to a binaural recording. And that's really exciting. So uh, let's get on with it and I'll show you what happens. Okay, well, I'd say that was really successful. And I've already listened to the impulse response, and I think it sounds great. It sounds exactly like what I heard when I was in the basement. You've only heard it so far from the camera's microphone. So what I want to do is uh, share with you what that sounded like by letting you listen to the binaural impulse response through my voice now, also binaural. In other words, the 3D reverb applied to my voice right now in 3D. But to do so, you have to wear headphones. So. Grab your headphones and put them on right now if you haven't done so. And the reason is, without headphones, you just won't hear the effect. It doesn't work through normal speakers. So you have to listen with headphones. Now, what you hear is my voice binaurally through the 3D microphone that the camera is on the forehead of with the 3D binaural impulse response applied to that. And I've, I've compared, you know, being in that room to listening to this kind of a recording, and it sounds exactly the same. So I'm really pleased with that. Definitely, it's an accurate fingerprint of that room at Digilog in Taipei. But of course, the key is, what does it sound like with music? So what we need to do now, uh, first I want to take away that reverb effect, and just listen to my piano without reverb, and these stereo microphones without reverb, and then the 3D piano from this point of view, which is basically the player's point of view, with the 3D reverb. So here we go. I'm going to go around and take my position at the piano. And uh, this is all in 3D, so you should really feel like you're, uh, you're basically right next to me right now. Hey there, how you doing? Welcome to my shoulder. 
and welcome to my piano. I'll pull my chair in a little bit. Now, this is the piano, first in just stereo. And now we'll listen to it from your point of view in binaural, in 3D. Here we go. Now we'll apply the reverb we recorded in Digilon in 3D to the 3D piano. Now that's the, the piano in 3D with 3D Digilog basement binaural impulse response as the reverb and Ethan in the bathroom <laughs> taking a bath. I can hear him over there. You might be able to hear some banging and snapping noises off in the distance there. That's Ethan in the bathroom. Anyway, um, so I hope this was uh, I hope this was good for you. Uh, it sounded great when I listened and I'm still going to check a couple positions that you guys felt were favorites. This was one of them. A lot of you liked this over the shoulder, but I decided to put you in a little closer so that you were actually more like where I am, but even with a better point of view of the harp. And the other position is uh, in a more typical position off to the side, but pulled back just a little bit from the edge of the piano, a little bit more, and even maybe turned around backwards. So we're gonna test a few more, few more uh, positions, and all this is so that I can begin to record peaceful, beautiful piano music with a spacious reverb. And I'm not done collecting impulse responses. I'll get more spaces and churches to test the best result and then start presenting you simply with you know beautiful, spacious piano music that can give you a sense of peace, a kind of a moment of zen, a moment of relaxation from the busy life that we all often have to shoulder. So thanks so much for being a part of these tests and uh, coming soon, maybe another impulse uh, impulse response recording at a church. And then shortly after will come a series of piano recordings just for you. Take care.
Okay, you guys, you can come out of the bathroom now. Yeah, so fast. Okay, you guys can play then. Keep playing.